My name is Scott Lucan, and I am a third-generation stone carver. Yeah, being a, a third-generation stone carver, memorialist, uh, is really an awesome thing. There aren't very many industries around that boast the kind of uh, connection to past generations that, that monument manufacturers do. Uh, I think it's a really cool thing that I have tools that belong to my grandfather and to be able to take those tools and, and uh, still be able to use them. That's really cool. Uh, memorials are starting to become more and more individualized and unique. So when people go to visit their loved one that had passed away, they can see their memorial and see the different details that pertain to who that person was or maybe what that person did in their lifetime. When a family comes into our business to order a memorial, they really don't know what they want. It's, it's a foreign process to many people. It's not something that you do often. Each instance is unique. The family obviously wants to commemorate their loved one and uh, they want to do it as best as they possibly can uh, with their budget allowed. Uh, they have many choices. They can go with something that is very basic, kind of out of the book, all the designs are picked from a book, or they could go to the other end of the spectrum and design something that's really unique, something that's custom, where they meet with the artist like myself and we draw up designs possibly contours of the memorial that would tell a very unique story about that person. So it's very similar to uh, getting a tattoo, for instance. A person would run into the same kind of a thing. If they want to go and get a tattoo, they could easily pick right from the posters and the books that the tattoo artist has, or in many cases, because they want something unique, they will work with that artist and have something customly drawn up that would be a one of a kind. There are two types of clients that come into our business. There's an at need, which is a person has died in the family and they want to order a monument. And the second is pre-need, which is when a husband and wife or a young person can come in and they can design their own monument ahead of time. That way they have complete control over what goes on the monument and they can have it exactly how they want it. And then the family down the road after that person has died, they don't have to uh, worry about designing the monument at all. I had a client once come in and the person that had passed away had tattoos and uh, they were very special to that person. They took a lot of time and effort in designing these tattoos. They were quite detailed. So the family had brought me photographs and whatnot and we designed the memorial with these tattoos. And I often think it would have been very nice if that individual would have come in ahead of time and designed his own memorial. I could only imagine what kind of details would have been on there. It's going to be out there forever, so why, why not put some thought into the monument and have it uh, really unique and tell a really good story about that individual. You know, tattoos are often done because they're a memorial tattoo. People will put hours and hours of time and, and a huge amount of expense to have it done right, have it done proper the first time. So why wouldn't you want to do that for a memorial as well? 